after four years in the corporate world, climbing the career ladder and negotiating my salary more than a couple of times, I decided to quit and start my own business. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to give you a personal chapter of my life. It's about taking a leap and stepping away from the expected path. The one my parents always wanted from me and I guess most of society would associate with success. At the end of last year, I moved away from a job that many would love to have and I wanted to share why and more importantly, how my perspective of what success means to me has changed. Let's rewind quickly to mid-2019. This is when I got my first full-time job after I graduated. I was so excited and happy when I got the offer to work as a senior UI engineer. The first few months were packed with new things and I was learning a lot but also at the same time a little bit overwhelmed but in a good way if that makes sense. I was, I got challenged, I was challenged and I could grow as a person in that role, could grow as a developer in that role. But after a year in I kind of learned everything I could as a UI engineer and it wasn't as exciting anymore, I wasn't really challenged and I kind of felt like I reached a plateau. I earned quite well so I didn't really bother at least at the beginning. Working full time also meant I could only meet my friends and family on weekends because for me it took too much effort to meet someone after a full work day. I mean this is just from my perspective, other people maybe can still meet up with other people. For me it was too much, too much mental effort. So I was basically living from weekend to weekend and there's only so much you can squeeze into a single weekend. Also you want to maybe relax from your full-time job and take a break so you're not always mentally in a state where you want to meet other people. And what I realized is I couldn't imagine doing that for another 40 to 50 years before I can retire and having a fulfilled life. So the question in my head came up, how can I regain my time? And this thought was now living rent free in my head. After a while I decided to code in my free time. So every time I got back home, I worked on a project called Resume. Resume is now an AI powered resume builder, but back then it was just a playground for me to test out new and exciting things. Something I had missed for a while. After a month of working, I guess like 12 to 16 hours a day, I decided to add a price tag to resume and I also shared all the progress on Instagram. And after a couple of days, once the project was out, I got my very first customer. This was the moment for me when everything shifted. Someone out there had enough trust in me and my product to buy it. And since I'm living in Germany and the person who bought it was in the US, it happened while I was sleeping. This was the first moment when I understood the difference between working at a company and earning in exchange for my time compared to create something of value on the internet and earn regardless of my time. Shortly after that, I made the decision to go from full-time employed to being part-time employed. So I could work on my projects and have more time to work on them, but also to have a safety net to pay for all the bills. For my own peace of mind, I set a goal. My projects had to cover at least 80% of my living expenses. And the dedication paid off. Slowly but surely, Resume and my other projects were growing and more and more users came in. And knowing that other people out there could benefit from something I have created was so exciting and fulfilling, something that a paycheck could basically never provide. With COVID, my company went full remote, so I took the chance to travel to Asia. Something I wanted to do for a long time, but couldn't do because of the early restrictions of COVID. I spent three months abroad and traveled to Thailand, Vietnam and Bali. That's when I learned what truly matters to me. It wasn't a job title or the size of my paycheck. It was the freedom to explore, to experience new cultures and to have the flexibility to work from anywhere. Three months in Asia were kind of eye-opening to me. People were living a fulfilled life with so much less than what we consider essential back in Germany. So back home, still working part-time and now already for more than two years, I realized that I got kind of comfy in my new role. 
the safety net I had from my part-time job kind of pulled me back from doing meaningful work. And don't get me wrong, this is a great place to be in. But it also stopped me from growing my businesses and working on something that matters to me. And most importantly, it also stopped me from focusing on my end goal, regaining my time. Making the final decision to quit wasn't easy, but I knew I had to do it. Otherwise, I will regret it for basically the rest of my life. And the older I get, the more responsibilities I have and the, to make the final decision will just get harder and harder. So I, I just took the jump, quit. I still managed to cover 80% of my expenses with my projects, but there's no denying it is tough. There are nights when you're up late trying to implement a new feature or even worse, trying to fix a bug that just doesn't want to go away. There are also mornings when I wake up and receive an email from a frustrated customer or worse, getting a one-star review. This can feel like a punch to the gut, but at the end, this is part of the game, running your own business. These angry one-star reviews and frustrated customers are basically feedback on your product and how you can improve them. But not all days are like that. Most days are great. I can work on projects I love, my schedule is mine to control, and I can work from anywhere I want. But more importantly, I can work most of the times whenever I want. As I told you, it's not been perfect. There are challenges, uncertainties, and fear. But every morning I wake up excited about what I'm building and the potential of the days ahead. The freedom of my time is at least to me worth way more than any status or page I could ever provide. It's not easy and it's not without risk, but it is possible. Take it from someone who is now on the other side. Your dreams are valid and your desire for more is something not to be ignored. Thank you for letting me share my story with you. And if you found this story inspiring or helpful, please consider giving it a like and share it with someone who might need to hear it. That's it from my side. See you in the next one.